Hello, this is Gretchen Tucker, and this is my introductory video about um, vocal technique. So on this video, I want to highlight um, my credentials and uh, my expertise so you guys can learn about that. So um, I'm 33 years old. I'm a classically trained soprano, and I started singing actually very late in life. I was 14 years old. And um, uh, how I started, um, I decided over the summer before ninth grade to practice in my room. But I uh, joined um, the high school chorus, so I was all signed up. But in the meantime, I wanted to practice. So I sang a popular and Broadway songs. And then all through high school, I was in the concert choir. And I was in three musicals. I was lead in one of them. I did straight plays. Um, I took music theory, um, some music history, some voice lessons. Then I went to Greenfield Community College in Greenfield, Massachusetts. Um, I should uh, let you know where I went to high school, Pioneer Valley Regional High School in Northfield, Massachusetts. Um, at GCC, I you know, was a music student and I also did a business degree. So in the GCC program, it's uh, music theory, oral skills, piano, voice, um, music history, a lot of those standard things. Then I went to Keene State College in Keene, New Hampshire. And I started with music education, but I did sort of trans uh, switch degrees a couple of times. Um, I was in vocal performance for a while. So I do ha have like um, education 101. I had um, a lot of opera and voice and at Keene State, we were required to pass a piano proficiency exam where, um, you know, it'd be Happy Birthday, the National Anthem, um, Sight, Band Transposition, um, Chord Inversion, so there was a lot of things on this test that everyone had to pass. You had to have two instruments, your primary and your secondary. You had to study uh, vocal pedagogy, you had to study um, vocal diction, vocal literature. Um, go to a lot of concerts, um, counterpoint, there was a lot of stuff. But um, also, when you sang, you just sang in five languages, um, German, French, English, Latin, and uh, Italian. So a lot of opera, a lot of art songs, a lot of um, Catholic religious uh, pieces, because those are very good, um, that kind of thing. I also want people to know I can uh, read and sing in Gregorian chant notation, the square notation, um, among regular notation as well. And then I w wanted to finish, so I switched to music history. So um, I have a BA in music history, and then um, I have a, what's it called, <laughs> um, BS in management. and. I got my master's in human resources. My day job is I'm an HR manager at a food co-op. And um, so in um, college for choir, I did um, Greenfield Community College Chorus at Keene State. I was in the concert choir and the chamber singers, and we did early music. I am the soprano section leader right now at Our Lady of Chanstahoma um, Roman Catholic Churches. St. Cecilia Choir. I've been there for about nine years. So I do sing Gregorian chant notation. I do have solos from uh, like a verse on a hymn to like doing a Mozart aria to um, I did the four recits for Handel's uh, Messiah, the angel one. Um, all kinds of cool stuff there. I also have been in uh, more professional bass choirs. Pioneer Valley Symphony Chorus, which is out of Northampton, Massachusetts, and some other local choirs. So I've done a lot of choir. Um, other things I do, I've done um, sing-alongs, so patriotic sing-alongs. I did a World War One series where we'd sing um, Cohen and um, other kinds of songs. I've done um, World War II. I'm also a reenactor, so we do like 40s, 1940s jazz, which is quite different. I've sang the national anthem at several um, big events where there was like 5,000 people. Like I said before, uh, classical recitals, karaoke. Um, I've wanted to do my own um, writing of music, so my own songs, and I I want to do benefit concerts. So I've done all kinds of solo and choir works. So. Um, 
that's sort of an overview of my professional credentials. Um, I'm going to preface the kinds of uh, topics I'm going to cover in the next few videos. I'm going to do some on basic warm-up vocal technique. Um, again, it's hard when you're not the same voice part as the person teaching. Um, I'm a soprano, but I can do some alto, which I discovered through my 40s singing. Um, let's see. So I would do some basic warm-ups. I can talk about tessitura and voice parts. Um, I used to... Uh, be married to a counter tenor, so I know about that that uh, kind of technique too, because I lived that firsthand. Um, I can talk about a head voice, um, belting, melismas in um, the African American style and the classical style. Um, doing crooning and low notes, being able to have the same kind of um, good technique with high notes and low notes, and your vocal break. Um, I'm going to talk about posture and breath, vocal health, so if you get sick, uh, the tried and true um, recommendations, I've done a lot of research and I do get sick twice a year, so I spent a lot of time on that. Um, I've also studied what opera singers do and the best diet for a singer, um, that kind of thing. I can tell you about how you learn a piece, the kinds of things you consider, how you break it down, how you express um, with emotion. Um, and I can discuss other kinds of training, um, vocal anatomy. I can also recommend um, books, good websites, apps. Um, also, on iTunes, there's warm ups you can download, so I can share uh, those. Um, and that's going to be over the course of several videos, but for the purpose of the voice itself, I thought those topics would be most pertinent. And there is a lot of topics there. Um, so there's that. So this is just the introduction video so you know about who I am, um, that I'm a good quality uh, singer. Again, I've been singing for 20 years, and it's uh, my pride and joy and what I love to do. And if I could do it for my career, I would. Um, uh, so that, that, that kind of thing. And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to break down um, all the different topics for you. I hope it would be very helpful. And then I also, what I could do, um, if there is interest, is uh, musicians could submit just sort of vocal problems or topics, and I could do a Q&A video. I could take each um, area and, and discuss what I would recommend um, to, to improve, you know, areas to struggle in. I have struggles myself, too. So, like, for example, getting up of the way, high stratosphere, how to not have tension on your throat. That's something that I would personally ask um, a professional. So, we all have um, things to work on, and um, we can't see ourselves um, the way someone else can. We have fluid in our head, so you can't hear yourself the way you'd like to hear. I've even heard people say, because your ears are set back here, you can't hear what's out there. So, there's no shame in that, and... Um, I look forward to helping you guys in uh, these videos, and um, music is a wonderful, beautiful thing, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.